It's reading time with Seppi. Today's book is Santa's Lost Reindeer, written by Rachel Hills and Remish Ram. Please subscribe to my channel as I'm adding a new book each week. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Twas the night before Christmas, the night just before, when good old Saint Nicholas showed up at my door. He knocked and he knocked, then pounded and pounded. That jolly old man with a belly so rounded. From cookies and milk and all sorts of goodies that he gobbled down quickly while warming his footies. He flung the door open, bashed into the wall and there Santa stood trying hard not to fall. He was gasping for breath and gripping the wall. That new reindeer is the one who's to blame for it all. That foolish deer fled. He was spooked by a jet. I'm so sorry to say, I'm just very upset. And to my dismay, I just have to say that even old Santa can have a bad day. I'm training new deer. See, my last team got old. They said they were tired. They said they were cold. They said their backs ached and their eyesight were failing. They griped and they grumbled because they were ailing. I've a new leading deer. He is just a young fellow. He's clever and fast and his nose shines bright yellow. But we lost this new guy when our sled took a dive. Now I need some real help from a big four-wheel drive. I'm afraid Book is lost somewhere out in the cold. And for tracking down reindeer, I'm getting too old. I was hoping you'd help me to find my large pet. There were many deliveries we haven't made yet. I'm afraid he's still learning and might be in trouble. I must hurry to find him, so quick, on the double. So the rest of us climbed in the truck super quick. There was Mom, myself and good old Saint Nick. Inside our garage, the eight reindeer stayed warm while we all froze our buns in a giant snowstorm. Santa said, we will find him, even though it's night. After all, on the end of his nose is a light. We went to find Bucky with his bright yellow glow. We hoped it would shine through the blizzarding snow. We travelled for miles on the slick winter road. It was snowing and blowing and ever so cold. Then we finally saw, through the black of the night, a set of great antlers and a shining bright light. There stood our poor Bucky, incredibly lost, and so cold that his coat was all covered in frost. Santa stepped from the truck onto white crispy snow. He said, oh, I'm so glad to see Bucky's bright glow. Come, Bucky, called Santa. Come, Bucky. Come, boy. Both Bucky and Santa were filled with great joy. But Bucky was cold, frozen right to the bone. We must warm him, Mum said. Then let's get him home. So into the truck went the frozen reindeer, while down Santa's cheek slid a warm, joyful tear. We took Bucky home and thawed him right out. Then Santa's team left to continue their route. Before Santa left, as he started to go, he looked at me, saying, I want you to know, I really love Bucky. He's such a good dear. When he disappeared, I had so much to fear. I think Bucky's happy to give me a scare. 
If a deer has nine lives, he's got no more to spare. Thank you for helping me find him tonight. Thank you for helping make everything all right. Santa stopped and he paused. He said nothing more. He walked right on past me and rushed out the door. Then as quick as he left, he came running back in, with presents piled all the way up to his chin. Santa carried the presents to our Christmas tree and spread them all out for my family and me. The time had then come for old Santa to go. He headed outside into white, swirling snow. Then into the night, Santa left with his deer. Merry Christmas to all, was what I could hear. I stared up at the sky on that dark, snowy night. I saw it. Oh yes, there goes Bucky's bright light. <laughs>